All right, so having two engines is a lot better than having one, obviously. Look at the lift it's getting. Wait. Wait. What? Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Floating Sandbox. And yes, folks, we're back once again. And no, we're not picking on the Titanic again. I know I have it out. I know I seem like I use it every episode, which we uh, we kind of are using it again. But I wanted to show you guys this ship because we are going to be playing with something that might truly be unsinkable, like the uh, Titanic was claimed to be. So here's the Titanic, and this is for scale. Let me pop out the other ship we're checking out. Boom! This is the SS Hesleden. I think I'm saying it right. Actually, you can see the name here. This is by John Smith. And this thing is truly massive. It actually lags the game. So I'm trying to see if we actually have a ship here that is so gigantic that maybe it can't sink. Like, I'm sure everything can sink in floating sandbox, but still. So, we're gonna start here today with just a basic tsunami, and we're gonna see if this takes it out. You know, the tsunami's probably gonna form on it. Like, where did... Oh, there it is. I about to say, with this thing's so massive, it, like, takes up a good chunk of the map. So... I don't think this is gonna do anything to it. I think it's way too big. Like, we need a super tsunami or something. By the way, this one is powered, so we should totally uh, go full speed into the tsunami. There we go, full speed. Okay, let's turn on the lights real quick. This is probably going to make it lag even more. There's the horn and the whistle. All right, it's taking off. You know, I want to say we're sending it to its inevitable doom, but I actually think this is going to survive it. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, if you guys have any suggestions for future floating sandbox videos, things you want to see me attempt, uh, let me know by commenting down below, and uh, maybe hit that thumbs up button while you're down there. This has got to be like the world's biggest ocean liner. All right, here we go. The tsunami's about to hit it. I don't even think it's going to flinch. Like, I truly think this is going to make it through just fine. Uh, I don't know if my computer's going to make it through, because I don't know why this one's lagging so much. I guess it's just how big it is. All right, here it goes. It's hitting the front. Is it even gonna lift it or is it just gonna drive through the wave? Oh, here we go. We're getting a little bit of lift. It's flooding some of those front compartments, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Uh, the only thing it doesn't have going for it, it's going so slow through the tsunami, it's gonna take on quite a bit of water here, Juan. Anything breaking? Nope, it is solid. This is insane looking. On, it's gonna come out the other side. Is it gonna drain itself? Uh, that might be a bit of an issue. Wait, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, you know, forget everything I said about the ship being unsinkable. Uh, I think the ship is too heavy. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna break in multiple sections. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, maybe the back half will make it. No? Oh. You know, I actually want to say this thing's... I guess for how slow it's moving, the tsunami has so much time to tear it apart. Yeah. I mean, it looks cool. Like, look at the damage. That's cool. I don't think any flex tape's going to be fixing this, though. Oh, you know, to add insult to injury, there's a big spike here, which I didn't even do this. Like, this was already here. And yeah, it's about to penetrate the front of the ship. That's great. So, I mean, I still want to play with the unsinkable big ship. I just don't think hitting it with the tsunami was a great idea. <laughs> Fine, we're just going to ease down on this spike here. I'm pretty sure everybody's dead already. You know, I kind of want to do what we did last episode. And I want to melt this ship. Like, I'm not sure the computer is going to be able to handle that happening. But I picture that being really cool. Yep, it's now cutting that, too. Wow. Hey, you know what? The back half of the ship, though. Like, I feel like it might stay up. No, it's totally filling up with water. Yeah, it's, it's completely screwed. Um, we could totally save everybody. Hold on, let's charge up the Hammer of Doom here, and let's just go. There we go. Let's detach the back half. Yeah, that's just going to float up, right? Right? Can we... Do we have any doors we can seal off? Oh. Okay, this was all a mistake. I think everything I've done here is a mistake. 
All right, uh, maybe we'll try lava. All right, here we go. It is hot lava time. So water temperature is just gonna go whoop, and then, okay. Uh-oh, was that an explosion? Wait, hold on, is it even sagging? Oh, it's sinking really fast. Oh, it's slowly sinking into the uh, lava here. Oh, whoa. Okay, so it's not even drooping. Like it instantly ate up the bottom of it. Actually, it looks like it's about to poop over here. I don't know what's happening. I guess the middle section's gonna droop first. That's cool looking actually. I mean, we could make this even more intense. We're gonna grab air temperature and put it up all the way and let's go. Wait, okay, so this one doesn't burst into flames. Kind of waiting for that to happen. Uh, is it melting the stacks? Oh, it's all bending. Oh, you know what's kind of weird is I feel like the game is running a little bit better when this thing's melting. Like I figured it was gonna be completely opposite, but this is working. I don't understand why it, uh, it didn't burst into flames. There's nothing hot on this. I mean, we could do the heat blaster real quick. Let's make it really hot. Oh, that looks incredible. All right, here we go, heat blaster. I don't think we can light this one on fire. Oh, there we go, we got some fire up at the top. Uh, what if we hit it with the cool blaster? Does that, does that help us? You know, I forget the cool blaster's even a thing. I don't think that's gonna help us in this situation. You know what, let's pause the simulation and what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and do opposite here. So let's cool it down real quick. I feel like this made something pop last time. Okay, here we go. It's now cool, oh, we're beyond repair here. Wait, we could just move it all out. Hold on, let's just move it. <laughs> this looks like some sort of like abstract modern art. Oh, oh, okay. This used to be a ship. I don't know what it is now. Oh, it's spaghetti. Okay, uh, let's make this even worse for the ship. Let's go ahead and rip it apart uh, with the antimatter bomb. Uh, stick one right there. This is fine. All right, here we go. Antimatter bomb is going off. <laughs> I don't know. I think we broke something here. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what's happening. Like, it's just disappearing. Like, okay. Oh, and it's getting swallowed up. It's all on fire right now. And it just got spit out. Okay. Yeah. We managed to tear that huge ship up. That was actually impressive. I'm happy with myself right now. Hey, I've got something. We can Thanos snap it. And yes, this gets my frame rate back. Oh. That. Okay, that looks strange. <laughs> yeah, everything's just slow now. Like, if this was the normal ship, it would have been instant but it's taken it a while. Like it's actually starting to lean forward and sink. <laughs> Take it out of the ship. We just sawed it in half. Well, I guess we Thanos snapped it in half, whatever you want to call that. All right, well, that's a thing. All right, I'm just kind of curious. How many compartments are down in here? So if I cut this, is it one giant one? Uh, It's kind of looking like it, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, this might be a, a bit of an issue. Wait a minute, it isn't. It's stopping right here. So there is separate compartments, but I don't think it really matters here. I can just chainsaw it in half real quick. There it goes. So yeah, unsinkable ship's pretty sinkable. You know, I wanna repeat the antimatter bombs again, except for I wanna place a lot of them on here. We're gonna truly break this. Okay, you wanna see something that's a really bad idea? I'll oh, place antimatter bombs all over it. Okay, it's a question of which way is this gonna go? Like, is it gonna pull down the middle or just all over the place? All right, I think we're ready. Oh, geez. Okay, this might've been a mistake. Wait, wait, oh, there goes the ship. Uh, wait, they all just sucked into one antimatter bomb and they're all in the middle and it's gonna blow it out. Waiting for it. Uh, oh, oh. Now that was impressive. That might've been my favorite sink so far. Does that even count as a sink? Like, I think we just made the ship explode. Uh, there's not many big pieces left, is there? Oh, and there's something over here. What is this? That looks like it could have been a piece of a cabin flying through the air. Well, I'm not sure what we learned. I mean, we learned that the big, big, big ship 
still sinks like the other ships. It's just laggy. Hmm. Still cool, though. All right, so we have a... I think it's called a Triton sub. I got something I want to do to this. So we've played with the subs a little bit, but we haven't played with them that much since uh, some of the newer updates. So I want to send this below water real quick. It's got a little dive pump. That's so neat. All right, so let's dive down a little bit. Just keep going. Uh, let's go ahead and make it go... Okay, so that's the left and right engine. And then there's an up and down here. So let's make it dive a bit. Get a little bit more in the dive pump there. It's so cool how this works. All right, so we can go full speed. I think there's a couple other subs that you can do this with. So what I want to do, we've got it below water here. And let's just go ahead and put both on stop. So it should stay right around here. It might be slowly sinking because of the pump. Like, can we balance this real quick? Let's pump a little bit out. Uh, let's say we're getting close. Come on. I need to go up just a tiny bit here. Okay, I think it's starting to stabilize. All right, that's pretty decent. So it's below the water right now. So you would think that being in a sub's kind of safe since you're not on the surface getting hit by tsunamis and storms. But there's something I want to do. So we've got the fluid settings over here. So what we're going to do, we're going to make the water really, really dense. I'm kind of curious. Can we crush the sub? So it's really dense now. Uh, I don't think we should do anything with the drag. Uh, there's a uh, the water craziness. I just want, want that to go all the way up. And there's a diffusion speed. Uh, I don't really understand what that does, but let's go ahead and go up with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and resume. Ooh. Wait, what? Wait. Why is it... Is it crushing it? It's crushing the pump on the inside. Wait, what do we just do? I feel like it did almost opposite of what I wanted it to do. Like, I figured it was going to crush it below the water. A density going up would be bad, right? Uh, what if we went the other way? Okay. Is this... Oh, this one pulls it down. Uh, so it didn't quite explode like I thought it was going to, but I mean, that kind of works. Oh. Oh, hopefully nobody was in there. Oh, let's reset that. Okay, so... Wait, why is that pulling it down? You figured if the water was more dense... Well, maybe since it's more dense, it's making stuff go to the top and float. It's less dense and now it sinks? All right, that was kind of opposite of the way I thought it was going to work, but it still kind of works. I was hoping for a lot of pressure on the ship in order to crush it like a can. Hmm, I still feel like we can achieve that in the settings here. Let me tinker around a little bit. I mean, we could turn on the uh, ultraviolet mode, but I don't know if that really makes a big difference in uh, this or not. Well, let's go ultraviolet mode. There we go. And uh, let's try this again. Okay, let's go boom. No, that's that's not doing anything. Wait, you can adjust the electrical in here? Why did I just now discover this? Wait, you can adjust the thrust of the engine? Oh no. Wait a minute. So if I were to kick these forward, what happens here? And oh, I don't think it matters with the way the water's set right now, but does this make the engines a lot more powerful? You know what? We might not be crushing this like a can. Uh, I might have better ideas here. By the way, it's trying to push itself down into the, uh, the ocean floor there. Hmm. Okay, you know what? We're going to come back to this. Uh, we will play with the, uh, the ocean density. If you guys know a way to make it where you can actually crush stuff underwater, let me know. But I have a new thing I want to try. All right, here we are. We're going to pick on the Titanic once again. Let's go ahead and adjust the engine thrust all the way. So does this make this like a speedboat? Hold on. Huh? Uh oh, it is so much faster. Oh, live your dreams. Escape. Wait, it's actually tearing itself apart. It's too fast. Uh, we just gave the Titanic like turbo engines. Does that mean the Titanic can jump now? Okay, we got to try this. All right, let's make a sweet ramp. There we go. This is, this is totally not going to work on. There we go. All right, so we're coming full speed here. Can we finally live our dreams of having a jump? You know, we've tried this by pulling it before, but I think it yanks it apart uh, when you pull it too hard. Oh, it just broke in half. Okay, so we made the Titanic go so fast that it broke itself in half. What the? What? It, like, what happened? 
I don't understand that. Titanic, you're dead to me. Huh. Oh, also, we just chunked it into the thing there. That was kind of cool. I kind of want to do that again. All right, let's try it again. You know, they need to just give us some sort of, like, rocket we can attach to stuff, like Beam and G style. All right, let's try this again. What if something has two engines on it? All right, here we go. You got all the speed in the world. Oh, I made, like, a big lip on here. That's not going to work. This is fine. All right, come on. Come on, live your dreams. And... Okay, ultimately, that ended in death. And like everything else we do. Huh. Why did I think that was going to work? I'm stupid. Oh, and I got one more. Let's find something with two engines in it. Okay, I found a ship. It's got two engines. Hold on, let's turn these lights off real quick. There we go. All right, so let's go engine one and engine two. Does this mean it's double fast? And oh, it's kind of popping a willy. Oh, this is totally a speedboat. Hey, look at the front end lift up. I feel like it's about to take off and oh. <laughs> that was cool. Hold on, we gotta do that again. All right, let's get rid of the jump real quick. Now let's just let it do its thing. I just wanna see if it flips itself over. All right, full speed. Oh yeah. All right, so having two engines is a lot better than having one, obviously. Look at the lift it's getting. Wait, wait, what? Uh, uh, I'm confused. Wait, we just made <laughs> we just made the ship into a plane. Um, yeah, that's a uh, that's something. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> what comes up must come down. And <laughs> what is that? Oh no. Oh boy. So what do we learn here today? Absolutely nothing. You're correct. Um, I guess we'll see you guys next time.